Yeah, I would have never yeah, looked at you just, as a comic book yeah, guy. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, well it yeah. makes, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you know, I'm just, uh, uh, I'm kind of a. Kind of, I'm kind of a mix of things. You know. Do you, see, I used to love the old Punisher comics. Yeah, that were always my favorite. Yeah, I like I like I like those old, uh, you know, the old Silver and Golden Age comics, and, and you know, um, you know, Spider Man was my jam growing yeah. up. You know, I love, love, love Spider Man. You know, and uh, uh, yeah, you go to my you go to my house. I've got. Spider Man junk everywhere. It's okay, for, for, from from all the new <laughs> Spider Man movies, mm. who's the best Spider Man? Uh, I like the guy that's been doing it here lately. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, is that his name, Tom Holland? Yeah, Holland, yeah. yeah he's, he, he's, he's seemed to do a good job. He they, does do a good job. He got job. a little weird yeah. there for a while, yeah, but uh, yeah. Uh, who's the first uh, Spider Man? Toby, to- Toby yeah, McGuire. Toby McGuire, yep. Ah, man, that was. So, I, like uh, Spider-Man was one. I, I guess that's just what Toby I grew up on, you know, and everybody has, I guess. Their favorite, but I like Toby. I like I like Spider Man one and Spider Man two. Okay, Spider Man three and yeah, not so much. Have you guys, yeah. have you guys like seen the Stan Lee where he was on live and he was talking about how Spider Man came to be, and his like producer oh. dude was like, it's not good enough. Yeah, you need to go. And he's like, you know, there was one last issue of you know this magazine going out that we had because none of it was doing good. He goes, so you know what? I slapped Spider Man on there just to get it out of my system, and then it became number one thing yeah i I seen something like that and who would have thought spider-man spider-man would have never happened if he would have listened to that one guy Mm -hmm. stan lee was the man he was stuck on spider-man though he like could not get it out of his system and he's just like crossroads moments Mm -hmm. you know yeah things things you know if if he had gone left instead of going right Mm -hmm. yeah this would have been you would have never had marvel i mean everything that marvel produced you would have never had any of that Avengers, everything. Dang, that's crazy to think about. Do, do y'all have like a favorite superhero or anything? Oh, God, you guys are going to think I'm lame, but I like Batman. We love good old Batman. I'll dive into that here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Brandon? I'm going to hit you with a niche audience, but Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, technically speaking, he is. I guess because he has superpowers. He Ta- does. I mean, Ooh, that's a good conversation. Is Goku a <laughs> superhero? Superhero. I don't know. He's a little. He's, he's a, little a, he's a, he's a hero, yeah. and he has superpowers. Yeah, I mean, and in his story, I mean, in his story, he has saved the world countless times yeah. from certain destruction. Even going back in time three minutes, if you know, you know, <laughs> to save the world in the most recent series. So, I mean, Do you remember the uncensored that they done a uh, late night on Adult Swim whenever that first came out? <laughs> yep. Yeah, we won't talk about that. See, now, we're on this topic. Ah. If my sister was here, she'd be like, Vegeta. That's her favorite one. Oh, no, those fountain words. That is Actually, no, well, I love Vegeta, too. Yeah, she <laughs> loves him. Like, if she was sitting here right now, she'd blab on about DBZ all day. All day. I mean, I, I, I grew up whatever I get was, uh, I, I grew up younger. I haven't watched a lot in the recent years. Mm-hmm. Uh, people, if you're 18 years and older, don't look up the uncensored thing that me and him <laughs> were talking about. That, sure. that got we weird. Not, yeah. That got real weird. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Sean? Um, I, I, I was always, you know, like I said, I was a big Spider-Man fan growing up as a, as a kid. <laughs> so <laughs> Spider-Man's your go-to? Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. Um, do, do you have like a favorite uh like a version of them because there's been quite uh, a few. I, got, I keep going back to the original Peter Parker. Yeah, you know, they've they've changed so many identities in the, in the years recently, but it's like it's like I can't deal with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, 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 there's there's nothing like the original. Yeah, yeah. This, this is true. Yeah, I, I like the uh, the multiverse thing that they done. Oh, did that, you see it? Is is that one on Netflix? And it's yeah. like it's like a cartoonish yeah, style. Yeah. yeah, but I hated the song that they done for it. That Post Malone, Sway Lee, Sun, the Sunflower thing. Oh, sunflower. It's a good song, but it has nothing <laughs> to, to do, do with, with Spider Man. Yeah, like right. I, I listen to the lyrics, I'm like, what is this even about? This they ain't saying anything about Spider. See, yeah. uh, but back whenever they released the first Spider Man, and I'm about to say something's controversial. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a Nickelback fan, and, and, and it all oh, and it all started with the first Spider-Man, uh, Chad Kroger, and I think it was Santana or somebody. They done a song called Hero, and oh, it fit in with the music so good. And I was a little kid just listening to that song constantly, and being a big fan of the movie whenever it first came out. But yeah, that made me fall in love with Nickelback. 